Hey everyone, this is Josh Hayward and welcome to day five of the Guinness Project. That's right, we have spent the last four days thus far taking a look at some great Guinness beers. We took a look at Guinness Draft, the Guinness Blonde Lager, the Extra Stout, which again is the closest thing we have to the original put out in 1759. And we also took a look at Guinness's Golden Ale, which is kind of their take on the Pale Ale. Tonight we have another stout for you. Uh, just so happened we kind of went stout, other beer, stout, other beer. Now we have another stout, so kind of working out good. Um, very interesting, too, porter beer, stouts. That's kind of Guinness's thing, and we've got another one for you tonight. This is the Guinness Milk Stout, and this one is actually very, very interesting. Uh, anytime I see a milk stout, uh, I try to reach for it um, just because they're – I'm always interested to see what the brewery does with this particular type of beer. You're seeing more and more of these milk stouts out on the market. And not just stouts, uh, you, you kind of see more milk-based uh, milk or milk-described um, beers. I believe there's a, a local brewery that does a milkshake IPA, um, Guinness with the milk stout, other breweries with milk stouts, um, different things where they're incorporating milk. They don't actually put milk in the beer. They actually use lactose. Um, it is one of the sugars found in milk and a brewer is able to do some amazing things with the lactose. Um, it, it adds a variety of different types of components to the beer. Creaminess, uh, mouthfeel, um, almost even a little bit of that sweetness too. Um, hence the, the milk stout, the sweet type stuff, milkshake beers, those types of things. So very interested to try this one. Um, again, you don't get much better with stouts and porters when you're dealing with Guinness. So their take on this, I'm sure, is going to be great. So the Guinness Milk Stout. Let's see what we've got. Oh, wow. Another, another black beer. Black as night for sure. All right. Dark, dark, dark beer. Um, very, very dark here. If I was comparing the three stouts we've seen in the Guinness Project... I would liken this one to the Extra Stout. Uh, Guinness Draft was a little more uh, reddish towards the bottom and towards the top of the glass. Also more creamy, I would say. Um, frothy, uh, creamy and frothy, I should say. This, uh, as far as the look of it, just color and, and hue, um, just faint, faint redness down here at the bottom, looks almost just like this, uh, the Extra Stout there, for sure. Um, there is a, uh, this is darker than tan. This is uh, almost a, a brown, um, a tannish, tannish brown um, head, uh, creamy. Once you uh, give the glass a little swirl there. Um, but yeah, let's see what we've got. Oh, wow. Smells great. Beer smells excellent. I'm getting some chocolate notes in there. Uh, maybe even some, maybe some very, very subtle hoppy type tones. Um, kind of, it's hard to say. Maybe it's my nose playing tricks on me. Definitely getting that chocolate. Definitely getting uh, maybe some notes of some coffee, some espresso. Not much, uh, not much maltiness for sure. I would almost say a, a creaminess too, like um, almost if like you smelled a, a vanilla milkshake. Um, you're smelling some of that sweetness, some of the uh, the sugar, some of the the vanilla. But yeah, it's it's uh, it's setting you up for something good. That's for sure. It's kind of odd, you know. You, you have a dark beverage here, and, and you're looking at the 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 uh, the foam and whatnot, and then you're getting those those notes that are uh, those aromas that are almost reminiscent of a milkshake in a way. But yeah, this this is this is very intriguing. So, cheers. That's smooth, guys. Very very smooth. That's great. It's a very very pleasant beer. Um, just in comparison, being that we're looking at the stouts. Um, Draft and the extra stout, you got that, um, it's that hard hitting stout dryness, um, just standard with, with those types of stouts and darker beers. 
Um, you don't have that in this. There's a little bit of dryness, but that harsh, um, that harsh dryness from those dark malts is is uh, masked, or I would even say um, lessened with the uh, the the lactose that they use to make it a milk stout. Very, it dulls that down in a very very good way. It's, it provides a very very different flavor. I like that in these beers. The fact that this is a milk stout and they 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 scale that back. It's 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 very very well done. I'm getting a dark malt taste, a little dark malt taste for sure. Um, I think uh, uh, dark, 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 dark charred, charred bread, toasted bread, very, very dark. A um, little bit of uh, like dark chocolate, um, like think like baker's chocolate, like uh, not not morsels or, or milk chocolate, but dark chocolate, the the bitter type stuff that you would use when you cook. Um, I guess it's like 70% and higher um, as far as the, the cocoa goes. There's a little bit of sweetness from that, but you get that, right, that just raw chocolate taste. Um, maybe maybe subtle notes of molasses, not not near as much as, as what what I experienced here on these beers. Then you add that just that creaminess um, from, from the lactose. It it uh it, it dulls that harshness from those dark malts. It um, it provides an amazing mouthfeel. Just goes down really, really smooth. Very, very easy to drink. Almost like a dessert beer for sure. Um, because you're getting that sweetness, but you're also I mean it's a beer. You're getting you're getting the 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 barley flavors, and then you're also getting some some hoppiness in there too. Kind of bittering hops. But this is great. You don't taste milk in it, um, but you do taste that creaminess. You do taste um, some of the, the flavors, the way the dark malts mesh with that lactose, providing the, the dark chocolate type um, notes. And it, it's almost reminiscent of, of, of milk or, or of a milkshake in a way. Um, but it, it, it's, a, it's a very, very good beer. I really enjoy this milk stout. It's very easy to drink. Um, kind of on the medium medium side. I don't feel like it's as heavy as some of the other stouts. I feel like that lactose kind of um, lightens it up a little bit. I've just about finished the glass. Um, just trying to get as much as I can out of just the different kind of flavors. It's just such a different, different beer from the other stouts that we've tried. And in a very, very good way. Uh, a different kind of take. A very interesting... Um, just a, an interesting risk. Um, something else I'm noticing, it's been a few seconds since I've taken that last sip and I'm getting some of those um, flavors of the dark malts, uh, special black, um, whatever else they used in here, getting those very, very charred malt flavors and taste. Again, the harshness of those is, is cut back with the lactose for sure, but um, great, great flavors in here. Uh, a very different take. I love it. Uh, very, very good beer. Cheers to Guinness. Well done on this one. I definitely reach for it again. Very good as far as milk stouts go. I've enjoyed it. Thank you guys for following along. Cheers.